Hey guys, I'm Nicole. Um, this video has come very highly requested that you guys want to play with some handstands. And two things, this video is for you if you've already warmed up. I have, um, and I've created, I just created a little warm up video. It's super basic. So you can either do that or you can just press pause and do some of your own warm ups if you know your body well enough to know what you need before you kick up into handstand. It's important that you don't just go in cold turkey. Um, and number two, I'm not teaching these from a place of like, I have all the answers and I'm this like professional handstander. It's just that these are the drills that are helping me build strength and I'm right there with you in the practicing and the learning, but I have trained with some pretty incredible teachers and I've gotten some amazing tips and things that I feel like I can share. Um, but know that these things are challenging for me too. So I'm right there with you. I'm gonna be shaking probably in this video as well, um, right along there beside you. So I have my timer out. The first drill we're gonna do is two rounds of 30 second wall planks. I think that's what they're called. For some reason that's not sounding right in my head at the moment, but anyways. So hands are gonna be shoulder width distance apart. And then what this looks like is you're walking your feet up the wall and this might be where you're at, hands way out. Or you can start to walk the hands in until eventually you could land all the way at the wall and you could tuck the chin in towards the chest and maybe even get the chest and the nose whoo, all the way to the wall. Um, so I'm gonna set my timer for 30 seconds and we're gonna do this twice. It's a tough one. Alrighty, let's do it. Um, if at any point in any of these drills you feel pain in the wrists or in the shoulders or you're really collapsing in your form, just come out even if it hasn't been 30 seconds, we're all in our own place of how long we can hold these things and the hope is that we start to build up. So if at the end of 30 seconds, this feels pretty easy, stick with it for maybe a minute, 45 seconds. I'm already breathing hard from that <laughs> demo, so wish me luck. All right, plant the hands. If you're not at the wall, get there. Plant the hands, start to walk your way up the wall. 30 seconds starting now. Really press the floor away. Maybe you get the nose all the way to the wall. The tops of the toes to the floor. We're halfway there. Really press the floor away. So imagine lifting up and out of the shoulders as if someone was pulling your feet directly up towards the ceiling. Final five seconds. And release. The release. Maybe I should have told you sooner, can either be a walk out or a bail to the side. Did I say that? I don't know. All right, moment to reset. Then release all 10 fingers, roll out the wrists. And then we're gonna do it one more time. Okay, here we go. So plant the hands. Like I said, if 30 seconds feels pretty easy, especially on this second round, see if you can stick with it for longer. All right, legs on the wall. I'm starting the timer right now. Glutes are engaged. Press the floor away, chin in towards chest if you can. Maybe you get your wrists all the way to the wall. My wrists are not at the wall. It's always impressive. Whew, final 10. Press the floor away, final two. And release. Whew. All right. There's a chance that you're way stronger than I am and that you can extend those to a minute or you can do three rounds. There's also a chance that 10 seconds feels really hard and your hands are way out here and that's the point where you build from. So do these every day. Okay, we're gonna do one more 30 second hold. This time is a little different, but before we do, I want you to come up to standing and I just want you to shake it out. 
this is more for me than for you. This is like the best reset that I can possibly give you. Just shake it out, shake out the wrists. And plant the feet. All right. So this last 30 second hold, you have the option of staying at the wall and doing what we've just done twice a third time. Or you have the option, if you feel comfortable kicking up in the room, I'm really going to encourage it. Even if you don't think you can hold for 30 seconds yet or you know you can't, that's fine. Kick up and fall out as many times as you need. 30 seconds goes really quick. Um, but the more hang time we can kind of bookmark away from the wall, the quicker our practice is going to progress in these longer holds. And the more that we have long holds, the more it's going to filter into making other things easier. So it's a really strength building thing. All right, get ready, let's do it. Plant the hands, start to kick up or press up or walk up the wall or however you're getting to where you're going. I'm lagging the timer so that you have a moment to catch the balance. 30 seconds, starting right now. Final five. And that's 30 seconds. Nice work. Shake out the wrists. Interlace the hands behind the back. And then clasp opposite elbows and or sorry, opposite shoulders. And then opposite grip, really round through the back body. And come back to neutral. Okay, so the last drill that I'm gonna talk about for now for this video is to do with handstand entries, which is another, so we wanna practice long holds and building that strength. And we also want to practice ways of getting into handstand. So what I'm going to offer for this first video, and there are so many, like guys, I am scratching the surface of things that I could be sharing with you right now. Um, but what I'm going to offer is that we play with 10 kick ups on each side. And it's really just to kick up and come back down, kick up and come back down. And I'll show you what that looks like in a moment, but if you're listening to this and you're not feeling ready to move away from the wall, um, I'm gonna encourage that you really start to practice falling out of handstand in the room and overcoming that fear of falling because it's gonna help you progress so much quicker. Um, and obviously we wanna stay safe, we don't wanna hurt ourselves, but the body is pretty smart and if you trust it and if you set the focus on bailing out to the sides or just as much as you can coming back this way, um, it only takes having a couple of successful falls before it's like, oh, what was I so scared of? Um, with that being said, of course, safety is a thing. So if you're really worried that you're going to hurt yourself, have another person stand behind you who's going to catch your legs if you, um, if you do go backwards. I mean, it's tough, a tough topic to talk about because I don't want anyone to get hurt. And also, if you never move away from the wall, you're never going to move away from the wall. So that's what I have to say about that. Um, and ultimately, you can only make the decision for your own body and, and what you feel comfortable with. Now that we're past the talking, um, so you're going to plant your hands shoulder width distance, which is, like I've said before, oftentimes closer together than you think it is. The closer that I can walk my hands towards my, or sorry, my feet towards my hands, the easier it's going to be to get into this shape without a ton of momentum. So this is where hamstring flexibility is really going to do us some favors. You're going to shift forward into the fingertips and watch my shoulders here. It's not this. It's this. It's really a press of the floor away. And then I'm going to lift whichever leg I'm kicking off of first, or lifting first. And then it's just going to be a hop up, catch the balance, 
come down. Hop up, catch the balance, come down. I'm doing this 10 times. This is three, ooh, <laughs> can't catch them all. Four, and come down. Five, catch the balance, come down. Six, I hope you're doing these with me, and come down. Talking makes this exponentially harder. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And know that it's okay if you're not getting up and catching the balance every time. Just doing the practice repeatedly is going to get you there. Make sure you do both sides, which is not as fun as it sounds. <laughs> um, your body will absolutely favor one side over the other, but we want to practice doing both always. I'm giving in a little a bit of a breather because we need breathers between reps. So always take the time to roll out the wrists. All right, let's do it. Second side, plant the hands. You are going to see my bad side. All right, lift the other foot and kick up and back down. See, I didn't even make it up that time. Number two and back down. Number three and number four. Five. Seven. Ooh, <laughs> getting tired. Eight. Nine. Getting tired and sloppy over here, guys. Ten. As promised, these are tough for me too. All right. Do these drills every single day. 30 second wall planks, at least two. 30 seconds in the room, if you can. 10 entries, each leg kicking up, catch the balance, come down. And then keep playing and keep exploring. And holy cow, there's so many more things to share. Um, so I'll keep these videos coming if they're helpful. So let me know if they are. <laughs>